What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a choice span hypercutter Gliscor team for ranked regulation age. Now, Gliscor, every time I use this Pokemon, I'm always having a good time. This Pokemon is just so dope, and I feel like a lot of you guys agree with that statement. This Gliscor has hypercutter as ability, so we're not going to have to worry about intimidates. It also has a choice ban as item, like we already mentioned, to make this Pokemon do an insane amount of damage. Now, Gliscor is a ground and flying type Pokemon with the ice Terra Blast with Earthquake, Dual Wing Beat, Terra Blast, and U Turn. So it has a great move set with two stab moves, a Terra move, and a U Turn pivoting move with that choice band. So everything works together with Gliscor. Hopefully, we're able to output some big time damage and more importantly, grab some wins for you guys today. Now, also on this team is another Pokemon that we don't get to use too much, Vivleon. Now, Vivleon's still very strong with Compound Eyes and the Focus Ash. It's Rocket Hurricane, Sleep Powder, Tailwind, and Protect, so it can do some big time damage. You can put some Pokemon to sleep, and it can also grant your team Speed Control. Our final four Pokemon on today's team are going to be all meta Pokemon. You got Archaludon, King Gambit, Incineroar, and Ninetales. Ninetales is going to be here to set up the snow, have some weather control, and set up an Aurora Veil. Incineroar doing Incineroar things I don't need to explain Incineroar anymore. King Gambit's there for a big time physical attacker with Defiant. And Archaludon, do we even have to explain Archaludon anymore? Maybe we will. Power Herb, Electroshot, boost has special attack, does great damage with Dragon Pulse, Thunderbolt. Pretty simple, pretty standard. You guys have been seeing a lot of Arch loot on, on the rank ladder as of recently. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Glide Score in ranked regulation H. So guys, I just realized I'm recording on November 1st. This video will probably be out November 2nd, but this means it's a brand new season. I'm not Master Tier anymore. We gotta make a push back into Master Tier. We're going up against a Garchomp and Blastoid team here for our first match in a brand new season long alongside with Alolan Ninetales, Varigarath, and Ursaluna, so they can pop Trick Room if they want to. And last but not least, they got the Dreaded Mushroom Amoongus. All right, how are we playing this one? We could honestly like lead Vivlion and maybe just go into Gliscor, which honestly wouldn't be bad at all. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Clyde Score. I'm going to go into Vivlion. Vivlion, how fast are you? Are you faster than Ninetales? You're not. I would love to put like Ninetales to sleep. But you know what? I'm going to go into... Hmm. Clyde Score, what's your speed? Ninetales is scaring me a little bit. 161. You got great speed. You got great speed. You know what? We're going to go into Ninetales and we're going to go into Clyde Score. Just in case they go into their Ninetales. We could both pop a War Veil and we can kind of just play off of that. So I do like that. Um, in the back end, we could go in with Arch Ludon. The one problem is going to be Ursula Luna, just super effective onto all of our remaining Pokemon. Ground super effective on the Arch Ludon, King Gambit, and Incineroar. Um, hmm. I'm going to go King Gambit, and I'm going to go Arch Ludon. I feel like that's good. Like, I do like Incineroar here, but at the same time, it's like, eh. I mean, they got Garchomp, they got Blastoise. A lot of ground Pokemon. Ground scare me there. We're gonna have to get rid of these ground type Pokemon. Hopefully Glasscrew can just like terrestrialize ice and just shoot him down. But yeah, we're gonna go into Ninetales. We're gonna go into Glasscrew. Just look to get off some big time damage and at the same time set up a Roar Bell. Because I think they want to set up a Roar Bell as well. No, that's not the case. Alright, we're gonna go straight after you, Ursula. This could be a Shell Smash play. This could easily be a Shell Smash play. Hmm. Do we go Ice Tower here and just send it? I think we do. I think we just send it into the slot. It's going to be choice band damage, so that's good. So I'm going to do that. I'm also just going to set up an aura veil, help out the rest of the squad. Um, could go and freeze dry into Blastoids if we want to. And honestly, I am going to do that. I'm going to freeze dry this Blastoids down instead of setting up a aura veil this turn. I just think it's our call because there is a hot shot that Ursula could protect and then we can set up the aura veil. But I'm hoping Ursula doesn't protect because I'm, I'm ripping a Ice Terror Blast with Gliscor. Gonna do some damage. It's gonna do some damage. I'm hoping it's gonna KO, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but there's a terror type coming out here. Live score looking to get things started off hot here in the new season. We're going for it. We're going straight up attacking. They probably think we're setting up an Aurora Bell, too. So they're probably like, hey, we can set up a Shell Smash, no problem. So we go into the Ice Terror type. He's gonna end up protecting Blastoids. Wow. Blastoids with the Protect. Restrike's gonna get blocked. Ursula, what are you going for? A Blood Moon here, maybe? You're kind of scaring me a little bit. It's alright. Terra Blast going to launch first. How much damage are we doing? Choice Span. Terra Boost it. Super effective. Not enough. Not quite. You're going to go for a Blood Moon into Nine Tails. Can you soak this? Do soak that, which is really good. Which is really, really good. 
Now I could see him potentially swapping here. I might swap myself and just go into like Archer Loot on here. Because I can see him either protecting or swapping. I'm just going to set up a, an Aurora Veil now. I could definitely see him swapping or protecting or Luna. I don't think they stay on the field. Especially after using a Blood Moon. I'm going to go into Archer Luton. We're going to chill here for a little bit. And they're going to withdraw Blastoids. That's odd. That is very odd. So withdraw Blastoids comes out here. We swap our Glide Score. Reset our Choice Ban. And they're going to go into Nine Tails of their own. And he's going to go for a Vacuum Moon, which actually is going to do great damage here. Which kind of sucks that I swapped into Archer Luton. But now I get off a War Veil. Um, I can protect my lovely little Archer Luton, which I am going to end up doing here. I feel like I'm pretty much forced to. And I can just drop a Blizzard and get rid of this... Uh, Ursula in a while they set up an, uh, an Aurora Veil as well. Right, that's fair. That's fair game. Luckily, I'm not Assault Vest on this Archer Ludon. Luckily, I am not. Because then I couldn't have been able to protect. But we got the Power Herb instead. So we're able to protect, which is nice. Um, we have Blizzard Fine to take out the Ursaluna. We know they have Blastoids, which, I mean, I can deal with Blastoids. I can definitely deal with Blastoids. And we'll see what they want to do here. But you gotta remember, we still have King Gambit, which is a great Pokemon. <coughs> so, Arch Luna protects up. Blizzard gonna fly from them. Wow. No Roar Bell pops out from them. Nine Tails able to soak, which is great news. I'm able to launch Blizzard, get rid of Ursaluna, and do a little bit of chip damage onto that Nine Tails. I'm really surprised they didn't go for a vacuum move there. Super surprised at that. Maybe they were trying to make a read here. I mean, we're chilling right now. We're chilling. So we got off the War Bell. Hopefully they don't set out a War Bell. And are they going back into Blastoids? No, they're going to their final Pokemon, which is Frigoraph. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. So Electro Shot, definitely going to be a play call. We are going to end up attacking this. This Nine Tails, I think is the call. So I'm going to attack the Nine Tails. And if I can launch a Blizzard, I mean, I'm going to try to launch a Blizzard. If Nine Tails dies, Nine Tails dies. And Moonblast is going to launch him. It's actually fine, fine with me. As long as they don't set up a war bell, I mean, we could be chilling. We could be chilling. We get off an electro shot, which is nice. There's solid damage coming across the board onto Nine Tails. Probably not going to KO it. Probably bring it down to like low yellow, maybe red. Unless we get a crit. That'd be lovely. That'd be awesome. Electro shot launches and low red, real low. Low one HP bandit. So Trick Room flies here. Not the not the best, not the worst. And honestly, that kind of helps out my uh, my Archer Ludon, to be honest. And we'll save our Glyscore. I mean, Glyscore can come out here right now, but I'll save it. I'll save it, just because King Gambit's a tad bit slower, plus we have the Dark Moves, all that good stuff. So right now, Archer Ludon's faster than Nine Tails, which is great to hear. And I think we just rip a nice little Dragon Pulse. Actually, my bad. A Thunderbolt into <laughs> this slot, because that is a Fairy-type Pokemon. And I'm going to predict you Terrastalizing, because you did not Terrastalize yet. Yeah, you haven't. So I'm going to predict you Terrastalizing into probably a fairy type here. Onto Frigraph. We're even swapping it. So I'm just going to launch an Iron Head instead. That's my play call. There's no way you just stay on the field with this Frigraph. Yeah, yeah, here comes a fairy Terra. Show it to me. Show me a nice, lovely fairy Terra. It's got to be fairy. It's poison. It looked fairy for a second. It's poison. That's fine. I got EQ ready to roll with my, uh, with my what's it called? I like Glasgow anyway, but nice damage comes across with Iron Head. Dazzling Gleam is going to launch. Archer Ludon, luckily able to soak, especially after I crit. And Thunderbolt's going to be able to take out this Ninetales, so... I don't mind where we're sitting. I do not mind where we're sitting. Snow is gone. We have a War Bell. They don't have a War Bell. I'm surprised they didn't set it up. That's like the main reason I brought Ninetales. Was because I didn't want them to set up a War Bell and us not to have it. So from here, obviously, we just want to go for a Thunderbolt here. We probably die out to a Dazzling Gleam regardless. And, hmm, I could potentially take double damage. Could go for a low kick, but I'm just going to spam Iron Head here. I'm just going to look to get rid of this Pokemon here. Water Spout comes out. Oh, no. Water Spout actually doing decent damage. Not to Water Spout. And you're going to go for a Gleam again. Iron Head doing great damage. And this Blastoise is super slow. You have a berry, of course. Can another Iron Head KO you? That's cutting it close. That's cutting it real close. I sure hope so. Rain Dance flies. Oh, no. No, it's Rain Dance. How many turns left in Trick Room? I can't protect Glyscore. 
I cannot protect Glasgow, and Water Spot Lorraine's going to fly. Oh, we might lose this match. This is getting real ugly. The Roar Bell's definitely helping us. Trick Room two turns. Oh, that's ugly. And you know what? I'm just going to go for an EQ. Just to KO the Frigraph, and we're just going to... Mm, I don't have Protect here. Never mind, we're not going to go for EQ. Do I KO Frigraph? No, I'm going to deal damage to Blastoids. And I'll go for Iron Head in the slot. Actually, what does more damage? He's going to hit us first, so... This will deal double damage. He's going to hit us with Water Spell first. We already know this is coming. How much damage is doing? Thank you, Aurora Bell. Thank you, Aurora Bell. I really do appreciate it. Assurance going to fly. It's going to KO... Does not KO Frigograph? That doesn't KO Frigograph? Do Wing be flying? Oh, no, dude. We're going to lose this match. We're going to lose this match. Unless... Unless the only way we win this match is if King Gambit can soak up a what's it called? That's the only way. If King Gambit can soak up a uh Why didn't Assurance do the move is doubled if the oh if the target has already taken damage. Wow, well, Ironhead probably would have KO'd. I thought it was if we take double if we take damage here. Only way we win this one is if uh King Gambit can soak up a, a water spout here. And then we can sucker punch King Gambit next turn. Hydro Pump launches instead. Wow, what a call. And we survived that. Hold up. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Hold up. We're going to win this game. Wow, Aurora Bell. The clutchest thing I've ever seen. Aurora Bell, I love you. I love you, Aurora Bell. I'm in love with you. Dueling be going to fly. This might just KO. And it does. Let's go. So <laughs> Aurora Bell actually being super clutch for us. We're going to end up taking match number one. Really close match, but we're 1-0. Let's go hop into our second match. To be honest, whenever the season restarts, I'm always having fun on the rank ladder. Just because we're seeing fresh Pokemon, weird sets, all that good stuff. Like, Frigoriff with Rain Dance. How often do you see that? That caught me off guard so much, and it was so fun to see. So, we're hopping into our second match. Let's see what we got here. We got Delphox. We got Sneasler alongside with Indeedee. So, probably Psychic Seed Sneasler. They also have Mousehold, which I'm always scared of because Pop Bomb does so much damage. Then they got Mousehold and Dragapult. Uh, Vivillon could be a good lead here, especially because we would love Tailwind. And I'm going to end up leaving Vivillon. They could end up going into Sneasler and Indeedee, which honestly could get a little rough here. It definitely could get rough. Do I want to go into Glyscore for the lead or just save Glyscore? Because I could definitely save Glyscore. Maybe just go into like Arch Luminant. But if they lead Sneasler, a little bit of an issue. You know, we're just going to go in with Nine Tails. We're going to set up this Roar Bell. Roar Bell with Glyscore late game. And last but not least. Do I go in with Incineroar? Incineroar's looking nice. Incineroar or King Gambo? Incineroar. Hmm. Yeah, Incineroar. Let's go Incineroar. Let's get, let's get the Pokemon rocking out here. Incineroar, like, you just can't go wrong with it. I feel like whenever I have a team with Incineroar on it and I'm struggling to pick the last Pokemon and I haven't picked Incineroar yet, 99% of the time, I'm just like, all right, Incineroar, come on, you're just so good. Come on, come on, join the squad. Join the squad. It's like that Key and, Pe key and Peel skit. I can't even say it. Key and Peel skit where uh, he's the president and he's giving everybody hugs. And he's like, come on, come on, bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> That's how I feel with Incineroar. Bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> that show is so funny. If you guys watch that, you know, the skits are hilarious. They're hilarious. Bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> but they're going to end up going into Sneasler and Indeedy, which I don't mind that much. At this point, I could just set up a nice little Tailwind. They could go for Expanded Force. And I'm just going to set my team up with a War Bell and Tailwind. I think that's a that's a simple play call. You could have Fake Out Raid Roll. But I mean, the terrain's up, so I doubt it. You just protect Sneasel. Thank you. That's a fine protect for us. We don't mind this protect. We don't mind us protect because we get off the Roar Bell. Not only a Roar Bell, we're getting off Tailwind as well, which is huge. Beautiful. And we're both outspeeding Indeedee. This might just be a Trick Room call. This might be a Trick Room call with Indeedee. No, it's Expanded Force. I'm cool with that. I do not mind that. I do mind that damage right there, though. That damage is a lot. Um, I can land a Hurricane. That'd be really nice. And I'm just going to drop a Blizzard behind it. Hopefully Vivian outspeeds. I mean, Unburdened Sneasler. This thing cooks. It's a fast Pokemon. I was just going to put Sneasler to sleep, but I, I, I have faith in my, in my Vivlion to land this hurricane. A lot of faith here. A lot of faith. 
Blizzard gonna launch. Give me a Freezy Pop on Indeedee. Nope, and you're outspeeding me. Yeah, I told you, you're a fast Pokemon. You're a fast little booger. You're a fast little booger. So we got speed, we got a Roar Bell. We're gonna lose both our Pokemon here. Pretty simple. Simple kind of plays. But I don't mind this. I don't mind this. Actually, Ninetown survives. That's big time. That's big time. How fast are you? You're 161. You're 177. Can you outspeed? You didn't outspeed. You probably can't outspeed. We're just gonna go into Incineroar. Play it simple, play it smart. Um, we could fake out the Sneezer. is just gonna protect them. Actually, we can't fake out. I keep forgetting about the terrain. I keep on forgetting about the terrain. I could Terrasalize into Fairy, which might be my play here. Just because close combat's gonna do so much damage. Actually, it's not even gonna KO me. We're fine. We're fine with not using our terror. So I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna rip another Blizzard. And see how this one plays out. I am terrified of this Sneasler. Sneasler is just so good. It really is. Protect comes out from Sneasler. That's a fine turn for us. We're doubling down into Indeedee. And Indeedee should die out here? Because this Incineroar should outspeed with the Tailwind. Yep, yeah, that's cool. So bye bye, Indeedee. Um, how do we go from here? What do we what do we do from here? Let's see who their next Pokemon is, because I might be forced to terrestrialize my Incineroar. I might be. Good thing is Ninetales fast is on the field. Really good news. He's gonna send out Delphox. Delphox definitely a little scary, but I mean knockoff could rip up some damage. Knockoff could rip up some damage. I could parting shot out of here. Just because this thing is minus one. Um, we have one turn left in Tailwind. Is that a correct statement? We do. Um, Roar of plenty of turns, which is great news. Hmm. I'm going to double down in this slot. There's a chance that you protect. I'm going to Blizzard across. Blizzard alongside with a Flare Bush. Just try to get rid of Sneasler, man. Sneasler is just such a big threat. We're going to see a Terror type pop out from Delphox, which is why I didn't want to go for a knockoff. Yep, it's Delphox. All right, cool. That's cool with me. So we just going to go into straight fire. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. Because as long as I can land this, as long as I can land this Flare Bush into Sneasler, we can be chilling. Give me a Freezy Pop. Any freezes? There, we'll take that freeze. Show me two freezes. Nope, Dire Claw's going. That's that's pristine. That's pristine. I'm hoping this Fire Blitz can just KO. Because if this Fire Blitz can KO, we get to bring out our boy and get after it. Delphox is frozen solid. We'd love that. We'd love that. Fire Blitz going to launch into Sneasler. Sneasler's a lightweight, and it is going to KO. Come on, man. Sneasler, get on out of here. Wow, I really want a choice in EQ here. I really want a choice in EQ. We still have Terra, which is. Which is good. I mean, Tailwind's gonna be gone, but Gliscor is a rather fast Pokemon. It's got some speed to it. 161 on the speed board. And we'll get to see the final Pokemon is. Mousehold. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel about that. Probably going for a knockoff here. Could go Ice Terra. I mean, EQ. I would love to drop an EQ, but I'm going to double down in Mousehold. I'm not too worried about Delphox too much. Straight Fire type. We're just going to double down in Mousehold. We're going right after this thing. He's going for Pop Bomb, man. Can I soak this with a Warville? I think there is a hot chance I'm Ken. There's three, four, five. That's looking good. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're good. We're good. Ten. All right. So we're soaking up the Pop Bomb. No problem. Delphox is going to be frozen solid. It does outspeed us. It's probably looking to go for expanded force. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, Incineroar is a nice little dark type, and Dual Wink be going to do a whopping amount of damage in the mouse hold. Thank you, Auroraville. I knew Auroraville was going to be a good play. And Knockoff's going to be able to finish off you. That's pristine. That's pristine. And now we're sitting in a 2v1 situation, which I could throw a parting shot. I might throw a parting shot. Actually, I'm going to knock off this thing's item first and foremost, because it could most likely be Life Orb. But the Freezy Pop helping us out tremendously. So I'm going to go for knockoff. I'm going to go for dual wing beat. No more terrain, which is good. And he's going to thaw out here and he's going to take out Gliscor. Heat wave. Yeah, it's going to take out Gliscor. But Incineroar should soak, no problem. Yeah, Incineroar got a nice little soak onto that. And Fire Terror is helping him out tremendously. And you're going to be life form. Good thing I'm going for knockoff this turn. You can get rid of that. And we could do 
really good damage. Pretty much game now, because how many turns are left in a war bell? Two. Perfect. You can't protect waste out of war bell. We can just go for a knockoff and we can win this game, no problem. Flamethrower, all you got is fire moves. My Incineroar eats those. Eats those all day. 43 damage, no problem. Knockoff flies, GG's. We're sitting 2 0. Hot start to the brand new season with this Glide Score team. So, guys, we're looking for a perfect record. We're sitting 2 0, looking to go 3 0. Would love a nice little perfect record. Going up against Don Dozo and Tatsukiri. Always annoying, especially when I do not have Haze. Now, they have Klefki, who could set up some screens. They got Storm Drink Ashland, they got Metagross, and they got Indeed. So, they got a few different options on how they can actually play this. And I think our play is just going to be Archer Loot on Power Herb up. Because we will have Thunderbolt ready to roll. So, I'm going to end up going into this Pokemon. And I think I'm just going to end up leading Nine Tails. Nine Tails, solid Pokemon all around. Setting up a Roar Bell is just going to be a big factor for this match. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So those two are going to be our lead. We could bring in Gliscor for late game, which wouldn't be bad. Um, could also go into King Gambit. We got Low Kick, which is decent. Sucker Punch could be clutch. Um, choice Band Gliscor might have to be our play. God, those are just so annoying. It really is. I'm gonna go into Gliscor. Gliscor, and last but not least, Incineroar. Eh. Meh. I think we'll go King Gambit. I think we'll take King Gambit for a stroll. Yeah, it's gonna be my, it's gonna be my play. That's gonna be my play. So Archer Ludon coming out here for the lead, alongside with Nine Tails, trying to set up a Rorel, potentially go for an Electro Shot, give that special attack boost. But I don't know, man. I feel like Dantozo Tatsukiri is just always hard to play up against if you do not have a Haze Pokemon. Like, I just feel like they just outbulk you and they just get right after it. It's just real tough. Let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be Metagross Tatsukiri. So they could swap. Usually it's the other way around. They could honestly just stay on the field. And from here, it could be like an indoor kind of play. I'm going to lecture shot into you. I'm just going to set up a War Bell. It could be an indoor kind of play. It really could. Yeah, it is. This thing might be toxic. We don't want to touch this thing. We do not want to touch this thing. He wants us to bring it down to 1 HP. He wants us to bring it down to 1 HP. So I'm just going to go for a War Bell. Get that going. Electro Shock and a Fly. You might want to just like Meteor Mash into my Ninetales. Which should be okay. But I'm chilling here. I'm chilling here. Nice little special attack boost coming in high. And then Electro Shock going to Fly. How much damage are we doing here? Respectable damage right there. And he's going to explode. Okay. So he was KOing himself anyway. Explosion. That's fair. That's fair. Now he's going to throw out Don Dozo. The Toxic Orb's going to trigger. He's going to KO his own Tatsugiri. Nice little combo there. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, can this thing like die out right now? That'd be awesome. No, but it has to wait a turn for the Toxic Orb to actually go. Man, I hate this combo. So out comes dun, 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 Don Dozo. Yep, Don Dozo. Commander, get all the stat boosts and then this thing dies. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And then I'll probably terrestrialize it. I am going to go for a freeze try on top of a nice, lovely uh, Thunderbolt. I just like to do some damage in this thing. Luckily, we do have War Bell up. And he's probably just going to protect this turn. Let's start charging an Electro Shot then. Might as well. If you're going to protect this turn. If you're going to protect this turn, I might as well start charging an Electro Shot. You're definitely going to protect. Yeah, like, it's a simple call. It's a simple call. So now he knows we're going for Electro Shot and Freeze Shot. He knows that. So he's probably going to want to Thrasalize. I think st staying with these, this move pool right here is probably our best interest. It's definitely our best interest. Um... I could honestly swap like free shot to the left. I love the animation though. It's just like a Pokeball capture or nothing. Huh. What do you got? Let's see. Gastron's gonna come out here. <coughs> Alright, so Gastron comes out here. We're gonna free try this Gastron down. Just because it's four times super effective. And I'd love to just dump on it. Instead of like wasting my time with this bulky Don Dozer. Who might even terrestrialize. Yep. Terrestrialization. Or it could be Gastron. It's going to be Don Dozo. Grass Terra. Grass Terra. So, yeah, I could have freeze dried that down. But, in all honesty, I do want to freeze dry this Gashon down. Unless it's protecting. It doesn't. Cool. That's a great call for me. Because Gashon's dead. 
You're not dead. You're not dead to that. Four times super effective? You don't die? That kind of hurts the soul. We do about negative six damage there, and Surf is going to launch. Surf from Dantoza. Okay, I thought it was the Gash down at first. He's going to get the Storm Drain boost, and he's going to take out my Archer Loot on here. Earth Power. Earth Power. Wow, I really thought Freeze Drive would have actually KO'd. That would have been real nice. But I mean, I got Gliscord ready to roll. I got Gliscord ready to roll. And it's good to know that my Ninetales actually outspeeds. Now I go for another Freeze Drive just to KO this Gash Dime, which is probably my play. Freeze Drive and then just dual wing beat down the Sando. So, I mean, we did do half damage, which is great. I mean, that's, that's real close, but I'm hoping that can KO. So I'm just going to go dual wing beat into that slot. We're going to go Freeze Dry. And look to just KO Gastron, who might even protect. Maybe I should have went for a Blizzard and double down into this Don Dozo, but I don't mind this turn. No, it doesn't protect. Cool. The simple play works. You survive on one. Come on now. About two, but still. Still. Come on with that. Come on with that. I really wanted that KO. I really wanted that KO. Body press flies. Nine tails soaks, which is pristine. And Ice Beam going to launch. Yeah, I probably should have you. I probably should have hit that terror button. I probably should have hit that terror button. Having him would have been nice. Having him would have been real nice. So we know he has body press, which might force my hand to terrestrialize my King Gambit into flying. And we're just gonna go for insurance for double damage because Blizzard's just gonna outspeed. And on top of that, it's gonna hit and we're gonna get double damage there. So I can go for a Blizzard here to KO the Gaston. I can deal respectable damage on the Don Dozo. I definitely should have terrestrialized our uh, Glasgow there. Didn't really think that through. But I still think we're sitting in a position where we can win this game. We definitely can still win this game. Flying Terror coming out here. Don Dozo being so annoying. There's, these are their, their last Pokemon. And we're getting rid of Gashon right here. So it turns to a 2v1 right now. And Insurance should do respectable damage. He's going for a body press to finish you off. All right. So no more nine tails. Comes down to a 1v1. Come on, King Gambit. I knew I brought you in for a good reason. Assurance flies through here, does okay damage. And Snow is gone. And this thing's just going to protect, probably get leftovers, and keep doing that. Oh, this could get annoying. This could get annoying quick. How much damage is Low Kick doing? Heavier than the target. This thing's a heavy Pokemon. Let's see how much low kick can do. I don't know how much damage it's going to do. I knew he's going to protect anyway. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Maybe we just need a crit action. Maybe we just need a crit. Maybe we just need a crit. Leftover's giving him a lot of HP back. How much damage is low kick doing? <laughs> I feel like it's going to do, like, two. It's going to hit, like, a paper towel here. Come on, we want this perfect record. I should throw a slice glass score. That would have been so big. He goes for order up. Ends up doing minimal damage. We still have a war belt, which is great. His defense is going to boost. Of course, his defense too. Low kick doing about negative five. He's just going to protect again. This game. This game, man. Um, We kind of need a crit here. Our best bet is just going to go Iron Head. We kind of just need a crit. And this is exactly what he's going to do the whole match. He's just going to go into protects, get leftovers, order up, defense boost, protect, leftovers, order up, defense boost, protect, leftovers, order up, defense boost, blah, 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 until he wins the, wins the game. So the only way we legit win is probably if we get a crit this turn. Because our roar battle's gone. So I'm just going to spam Iron Head. Hope to get a crit, and Dondos is going to get the best of us. Most likely. Most likely. Crit. Negative five. No way you protect him. If he protects again, he can just have this win. Actually, we gotta go for a, for a crit. We gotta go for a crit. Just attack. Just attack. Don't 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 protect. Come on now. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. I feel like we would have won this match if I would have thought this one through and actually thrashed or Glasscore. Would have been lovely because we had Ice Terror. We would have soaked that Ice Beam no problem, and then we could have done more damage onto this. Onto the start and dizzy, but come on, man. We need a crit right here. This is, this is our last shot. This is our last shot. Order up's gonna fly. Defense boost. This is our last chance. Can Jeans get the crit? Probably not, right? 
Yeah, no shot. We ain't getting crits. We are not getting crits. This thing is just ridiculously bulky. He's just going to be able to protect, do this one more time. All he has to do is attack me one more time with like Surf or something in this game. So I'm just going to run this game. GG to our opponent. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a winning record to get this brand new season started off strong. Glyscore with the choice ban, rocked out using Dual Wing B, and even Terra Blast today's video, doing a ridiculous amount of damage and picking up some big time KOs. Vivian set up a nice tailwind. We didn't get to use Hurricane or Sleep Powder, but still, you guys understand it. Just that Pokemon. And then the rest of the squad, normal meta Pokemon. You guys seen them plenty of times before. This team was just a lot of fun. Like I said, I'm happy to grab ourselves at least a winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. See you when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.